Okay, now we have our balances palette, and we want to uh, we want to make a transfer right now. Let's move here to the transfer over here. Yeah. So what is a transfer? A transfer is someone has some money, and I want to send this money to someone else. And the way we do this is that we sub subtract the balance from, let's say, Alice, and we add this transferred balance, this transferred amount to someone else like Bob. And uh, in Rust, we have this, what we call safe math, which is a way to make operations in a safe way. Because if you try to sum a number to a, another number, you can get an overflow. You can get some problems. Like if you have 10 in balance and you subtract 20, you can have negative balances in this case. So you will have a result and you use this checked add or checked sub that will return an option. And this option will be some value if it's okay, the operation, but it will be none if you have some error. Uh, and the way we handle errors in, in Rust is also very interesting. Uh, we use this result type, which is very common type in Rust. This type is an enum. Basically, the result has two uh, in the generics, it receives two types. So the first one is T and the second one is E. So, and the T type will be the value that we return when everything is okay. So if everything is okay, you return something of the type T. You return okay with this something inside the, the okay. And if something goes wrong, you will return an error with the value of the type E. So in the case which is very common, we use this result type. Basically, when everything is okay, you don't need to return anything. You just return like an empty unit value because everything went okay. And if there is an error, the type of the error will be an error of a string. So you can create a string that represents the explanation of the error or something like that. Um, so uh, in our case, so let's take this code here. Let's take this code here. And this is the boilerplate that we are going to create our transfer. So let me copy this and put it down here. So basically, I will transfer the amount from the caller to the person that the recipient in this two variable. So basically what I need to do, I need to get the balance of the caller. And the way I do this, I can use my own functions that I implemented here. I already have a function to return someone, someone's balance. So basically let caller balance self balance color okay now I have the color balance now I will have the two balance which is exactly the same okay just need to put this okay and then now that I have the color balance I need to I need to update it with a new value based on the amount that is being transferred. So the way I do this is let's call the color new color balance balance equals I could do like something like this color balance less amount. So this is the naive way of doing in Rust this kind of operation because remember this is not safe you can have a, an amount that is bigger than color balance and this will raise this will panic so I don't want to this to happen so the the safe way of doing this is that 
doing a checked checked soup with the amount and and see that when I do this the type of the new color balance is not uh, U 150 in 28 it's an option and I want to return an error if this is this this option is known because there's no balance and the way I do this is just use the OK or and here in um, the value of the error in this case insufficient insufficient balance so let's update also the new to balance is to balance now I do a check a add amount and then the same but the error is different because I'm adding so maybe there's there will be an overflow and this will be there okay now that I have the new color balance the new to balance let's update them let uh, no I don't need to let I just set the balance and set the balance this way and if everything is okay and we are going to first check if everything compiles okay everything is running and compiling and now we are going to create some tests so let's create some tests to make sure everything is working because if I run tests here you're gonna see that I have only my main test that I did it before so I don't have too much testing so let's copy also from here this is the boilerplate for the tests okay and see that these tests are going into the balances file which is very good because I can have tests when I run the tests you see that it's it already puts here where the test is located so you can separate the test by uh, model and <coughs> so this test basically is just doing what we did it before uh, we get the Alice Ballast and then I set to 200 and then I try to get it and when I try to get someone that doesn't have a balance it returns zero and it's just testing the basic stuff here now let's create the transfer test okay okay again let let's create the palette and then let's put some balance for Alice because otherwise I won't be able to transfer it and then balances let's do the transfer now I'm transferring from uh, let's do some can I do some create some constants here let me see const Alice equals I don't think I can do this I can can I do this no I can't const static no I can't do this here okay no worries let's keep doing this let's do it here Alice and Bob Bob oh I sorry I think I can do it I was just using the JavaScript syntax for that no no I can't okay let's keep this way uh, so I have Alice and then I have Bob and then now I want to transfer from Alice to Bob let's say 90 okay and then I need to check that Alice's balances is a hundred and Bob's balances is 90 I need to clone Bob here also because it's okay I think this basically is the test that I want to make sure 
let me just let and remove this warning and let's run to see if it's working and it's working so my transfer is complete uh, we can create let's create a test that fails let's try to create a test that fails okay so for example um, Alice, Bob, and then I try to transfer 110. I had only 100, and I will say the result is insuffic insufficient and the balances are not changed. Okay? The AI did the right test for me. I just checked if everything is okay, but it's pretty straightforward and we can also test the other overflow that can be so we tr we create we created a test for the happy path we created a test for the insufficient balance and we can create a test for this one as well how can we do this let's do it again okay transfer overflow basically we set the balance yeah yeah actually this test is not correct the AI the AI did it wrong if I run it it will, it will fail uh, why it's fail because it's setting Alice balance to max and then it's transferred from Alice so basically it will it will be it, this is okay the way we have to do this is that we have to set the Bob's balance to the max like this and let's put Alice for example Alice had 100 and then I transfer one to Bob and then Alice still has 100 and Bob still has use max and if I did not do anything wrong now this test is working okay now we completed this uh, challenge of the transfer function